Hey everyone, Nid here. Today I wanted to do a comparison video between the Squatch Legend 3.0 and the Squatch Lore. I know a lot of people tend to be on the fence about which one they should go with. Um, so I'm just gonna start out by saying I think it really depends on your needs and what type of player you kind of are on the course in regards to what you like to carry, how many discs you carry. I'd say if you do about 25 discs or less, then the lore is a fantastic option. If you're looking to carry more than 25 discs, or if you also like to carry a lot of extra items, extra towels, rain jacket, rain fly, bug spray, sunscreen, snacks, whatever else. Um, if you just wanna have space for it, then I would say just go with the legend. Um, both are really a really great bang for your buck. Um, so what I'm going to do today is that I have the lore packed right now. And so I'm going to move those over to the legend to kind of show the uh, space differences when um, between the two. So hopefully that will help with everyone's decision. Um, but again, both are really great bags. I do use both depending on the course, the tournament, and uh, kind of what the situation is. So let's get started um, with the lore. Uh, I have six putters up top, six putters or putt and approach type discs. Um, you can fit another one up there if you'd like, but I'd say six is, in my opinion, the comfortable amount to be able to grab things in, out, in and out without having to wrestle them. And then in this main compartment right now, I have 17 discs. So that includes two mid ranges. The rest are some sort of driver. And then this side pocket here, you can see on the lower, hopefully, there are three more mids and one driver. So that would make 27 discs in total in the lower. So I know I mentioned 25 or less and I just, name that number because I think that's more of a comfortable amount to be able to have space in the compartments and just not have it be such a tight squeeze. So um, the difference here, one of the main differences I think is that when you put items in the side pocket of the lore, uh, it does tend to make the long side pockets a lot tighter. So we have a water bottle here. There's a cooler pocket and um, the cooler pouch does come in all the legends and the lores. So I have a water bottle in here now and you can see that this long side pocket, once that bottle is in there, I'm gonna grab a rain jacket as an example. Um, it makes it a much uh, tighter squeeze. So we can make it happen if we force it, but Again, you'll kind of just be wrestling things in and out. Um, if we take some of the discs out, then it kind of loosens up that side pocket a bit more. Um, so again, you can still fit stuff in there. I think if we, also if you take maybe some discs out up top, um, you can put your mini up here. Another difference I'm gonna say is for a phone pocket, um, I tend to like to put my phone right here on this inner side pocket. Um, in the legend, there is a nifty exterior phone pocket right here. So that's kind of actually one of my favorite small features of the legend that I think are super clutch. Um, I know they weren't able to do that on the lore just because it is a smaller bag, so it makes sense. It still works right here, that's fine. Um, what else? You can also, while I have this, in both bags, if you want to hold an umbrella, there's plenty of space here. And you can actually squeeze that in the long side pocket. I like to take a bungee ball and I recommend using it around this D-ring, wrap it around the umbrella, and then it secures the umbrella and you're good to go. So you're able to do that on both bags. Again, like I said, both a really great bang for your buck and you're able to carry a lot so i'm going to start moving everything over to the legend so that we can see how much more you can actually fit in the legend i'm going to move the six putters over so that's six up there Let's just go ahead and move everything equally we've got the four discs that were on the side you can put that in this side pocket here on the legend that you can see this side pocket on the legend is more so on the like exterior of the bag as opposed to on the lower it's kind of like flushed into the bag and that's why it doesn't restrict so much of this long side pocket space 
So four bag, four discs in this side pocket here. Um, and there's actually, it's pretty loose still. So there's a lot of uh, room for more. Um, and let's do the main compartment discs. You can see since I said there's 17 in here, I was wrestling that grouping out a little bit. I think 16 is like a comfortable number for the main compartment. So let's move these over to the legend. That is two mids, two drivers. So that's four. Let's grab them by the handful. Another five. Another five. Three. All right. So you can see that was everything that was in the main compartment of the lore. And now it's in the legend and you still have all this extra wiggle room. So that's 27 discs in total that were just in the lore. And then let's see, so I can add another putter up top. And so now I would say seven discs, uh, putter and approach discs. If you're using drivers or mids, then you could fit more, but seven putt and approach discs is comfortable up top for the legend. And again, on the side pocket, we've got three mids and a driver and I could fit more in there. So that's two drivers that I could do just to kind of show um, how much more space there is. And then this main compartment, you can see there's a lot of wiggle room. So I'm gonna put these in here. That's two more. Let's go one more. And you could probably squeeze more in there, but we're at 20 discs in this main compartment. Seven up top, four, and I said you could probably do seven more on the side. So I think I've carried about 31 discs in this bag before and it was still comfortable. And again, the main difference there is that once you pack it with discs, you still have so much space here. So I've got bug spray, sanitizer, sunscreen in this um, pocket up top. And then this is the rain jacket. I can squeeze in and it's it's plenty fine. Got a range finder. If I don't want to hang it on the outside, I can put it on the inside. Zips up easily. Um, we've got the mini marker and that can go in here. There are a couple interior side pockets of the legend. Hopefully you can see that. There's one on each side that the mini marker could go in. And there's actually um, both bags have a bladder pouch, but it has a bladder pouch as well. Um, I know it can fit a two liter one in the legend. Um, I'd have to look up the size that it fits for the lore. So all those are in there. We've got the cooler bag in here for drinks, snacks. Again, this phone pocket that I think is very convenient long side pocket still plenty of space here's a rain fly so you can kind of stick the rain fly in there if you want and you have another pocket here for stuff so you can take that umbrella i can show you the same thing from the lore that this will fit in here and we can take a bungee ball if you want and put it around the d-ring and it helps secure it very nicely so that it's not swinging around. So that's a lot. Oh, the patch pocket, that's or patch area, that's another difference. So the legend has this pretty sizable patch area here on the on one side. So that's where you can put Velcro patches. Um, the lore, it doesn't have that type of space. You can see nothing there nothing there but it has this strip here it's like on both sides you can see I've it covered in patches now but um, strip on that side same strip on this side that strip is actually usually for if you're not using this side pocket that you could close it up if you want but I always leave mine open because I have stuff in the pockets so you can use that for um, velcro patches if you want so there's that. Again, both pack a lot. Um, I would recommend 
either bag to anybody. I've got pretty much nothing but good things to say about these. Yeah. So if you decide to buy one, go on the Squatch site, use code NID, N-I-D, for $20 off any non-signature bag. This Arctic blue color is beautiful. The other color that they're running for the Legends for 2024 is a really sleek black and red. So I would check either of those out. Um, and they're restocking other Laura bags in February of 2024 as well. So any questions, let me know. Um, but thanks for watching and I hope this helped. See you guys.